As we continue to honor the legacies of black thought leaders, MEE will share footage of Dr. Bell's down-to-earth wisdom and in-depth research with the broader MEE family. Well, you know, that's an that's a interesting and complex question because I'm very, very convinced that black people experience more trauma from violence than probably anybody else other than maybe Native Americans. Because black people catch hell in terms of their issues around violence, exposure, started that stuff in 82. So that's real clear. What's interesting to me though, is I read the national surveys on mental health and trauma and trauma outcomes, is that it, there is some suggestion that black people actually have better mental health outcomes than white people. When they, when they go do large community surveys, uh, black people come out better. Now, that has always puzzled me because, again, it's clear black people have more trauma. But have, how could you have more trauma and have better mental health outcomes? Doesn't make sense. What it turns out is that um, I think black people in many ways have more protective factors protecting them from trauma. I used to think that if you were from a single-headed household, your mom was on drugs, you were doing poorly in school, your mom was using crack, and you were using crack, your daddy was in prison, your mama was drinking, you got abused sexually, you know, all the risk factors that everybody can name. You were runt, as we say in Chicago, you just runt. That's not true. That is not true. Now, it's counterintuitive that that's not true. Because you would think, mom on drugs, daddy in prison, school violence, been exposed to violence. You messed up. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Here's the thing that we learned from Satcher's Youth Violence Report mm -hmm. and the Institute of Medicine's report on suicide. Risk factors are not predictive factors because of protective factors. Risk factors are not predictive right. factors right. because of protective right. factors. Okay. Poor black people, my experiences have a lot of social fabric around them. Uh, they, they know neighbors, they talk to people, they're connected to people in their community. Um, so they've got social fabric. But again, we're so busy demonizing and criminalizing and castigating, especially young black men, that we don't see their potential and we don't see their creativity, their humor, their spirituality, their energy for, for action. And we view it all as negative, so we don't give them a chance.